Well, as mentioned, Sunday marks World Population Day, so let's go ahead and bring in uh, Dave Gardner. He is the director of the documentary Growth Busters. He also hosts a podcast with the same name. Uh, Dave, thanks for, for joining us. Uh, I, I gather I don't mean to oversimplify, but the crux of your argument is that overpopulation is a big problem. So when you hear stories like this one, that the pandemic is making people sort of rethink having children, I, I imagine your reaction is great. Um, more of that, please. Yeah, the, um, it is actually, the pandemic, of course, is not good news. It's, and it's one more piece of evidence that we have outgrown the planet alongside losing forests, losing fertile soil, losing freshwater access, and a number of other things. So in some ways, though, the uh, declining birth rate is a rational, responsible uh, response to, to that, all of that news. Uh, we, we, should be, we should be celebrating a women, a growing number of women choosing to delay childbirth, to have fewer children, or to even choose a child-free life, because that portends a much better future for the children of the world today and future generations. What is the correlation that you draw between the pandemic and what we've seen and overpopulation? Well, when you think about it, uh, you know, we've got 8 billion people on the planet today. We are in every nook and cranny of the world, and we are also concentrating ourselves in ever denser megacities. Those are conditions that are really ripe for pandemics. It's, it's, uh, we're more likely to come in contact with these infectious diseases, and it's easier for them to spread. So uh, it's, it, we would be much more resilient if we had a smaller population. Uh, unfortunately, this is a lengthy podcast. We can't get into the full uh, breadth of this conversation. But, but what is the right number uh, for the world population? And, and more importantly, or perhaps more controversially, who, who gets to determine it and how is it enforced, if at all? Wow. That <laughs> yeah, now we need 20 minutes or a half hour. Uh, the right number, there are different, different opinions about that, but scientists around the world pretty much agree on one thing, and that is that the right number is well below today's 8 billion or the potentially 10 or 11 billion that we could conceivably hit by the end of the century. So we know which direction we ought to be headed if we really want to be fair to future generations. The good news is that, you know, we don't need any policymakers to decide what the right number is. Uh, women around the world are making that decision. They have other opportunities beyond motherhood to have meaningful lives, and they're choosing to, to do those things and, and have fewer children. So we really just need to not be alarmed by those decisions, but to celebrate and support and even accelerate those kinds of choices. On uh, resilience.org, Chris Mage argues that you know, attacking population growth feels right, but the real issue, he says, is the growth of consumption-based capitalism, that in capitalism, capital needs to grow in that, he says, it will do so regardless of whether you and I, you or I, have an extra child. If I understand it correctly, he's arguing that increased carbon emissions that, that reflect increased per capita consumption is much more of a determinant than populations. I wanted to give you a chance to respond to that. Well, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, you know, you, there's no getting around the fact that each new person that we add to the planet is going to have a, a carbon footprint. That's just a fact of life. And especially those that we add to the planet in the overdeveloped world where we have uh, outsized carbon footprints. But uh, the important point, I think, is that we can't ignore our overconsumption because we are so deep into overshoot. And, you know, the number the right number, the sustainable number that'll put us back in balance with Mother Nature on the planet, we know is is half of today's eight billion or probably a lot less than that. And that's, uh, that's a lot of heavy lifting to get back to that number. We can do that, but because we are so deep into overshoot, we have got to really focus on, especially in the overdeveloped world, on living more modest lives and, uh, and discontinuing our pursuit of economic growth. Dave Gardner from Growthbusters. You can check out his podcast. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure.